Welcome to Rust Rating Economics. My name is Rocco, I'm your guide. Let's get started. You want to raid someone because they killed you. You don't even know what tools or weapons to use. If you're a more experienced player and you know the methods, you still find yourself wondering how much something gonna cost to raid. In this series, I'm gonna show you raiding techniques in Rust and especially their financial side. We're going to go through the best methods for each building part how to raid them and how much it is going to cost you to do that. In the last episode we talked about the sheet metal door, the sheet metal double door and the leather hatch. If you didn't watch the previous episodes of the series, you should check them out as well. The links are in the description. Now you all know how to get into a base through wooden or sheet metal type doors. In this third episode we are going to talk about the tool cupboard. This is the next item on the list that you must absolutely know how to raid. You can do it with melee, fire, guns or explosives. It has 100 HP, so it's fairly easy to raid, but just after you find it in your enemy's base. If you decide to go melee, it is best recommended to use a salvaged axe, a salvaged sword or a hatchet. You will need 4 salvaged axes. One salvaged axe costs 1 metal pipe and 5 metal blades. In total, you will need 4 metal pipes and 20 metal blades. If you don't have the tier 2 workbench yet or the BPs for salvaged axe, but you have salvaged swords, you will need to use 5 pieces. One salvaged sword costs 15 metal fragments and 1 metal blade. In total, you will need 75 metal fragments and 5 metal blades. If you didn't find enough metal blades, you could always go with the hatchet. You will need to use 6 pieces. One hatchet costs 75 metal fragments and 100 wood. In total, 6 will cost you 450 metal fragments and 600 wood. If you want to use fire, you can choose from fire arrows and the flamethrower. Fire arrows are a cheap and effective way to use. It will only take around 10 arrows, depending on how precisely you can apply the fire damage to the TC. You should hit the TC from above so the fire can spread on its top surface and if you do it right it wouldn't go down on the ground. But most of the times it is not an option to raid a TC from high above so the next best thing to do is aiming on the ceiling above or high on the wall next to the TC and then the fire will spread on the top of the TC. For one craft which will give you two pieces of fire arrows you will need 20 wood, 2 cloth and 10 low grade fuel. So in total for the 10 arrows you will need 100 wood, 10 cloth and 50 low grade fuel. In order to not run out of fire arrows you should craft a little extra. The other option is the flamethrower. As you could see in the first episode of the series, the wooden door, the flamethrower is a really powerful weapon for destroying wooden made objects. For a TC you will need to use around 42 low grade fuel. To craft the flamethrower you will need 15 HQM, 6 metal pipes, 100 low grade fuel and 2 empty propane tank. Again it is important to stand a bit back and then spray the 42 low grade in one shot. If you fail to do so you will need more fuel. If you decide to go with guns you have loads of options. First you should decide your ammo type. You can use shells, pistol ammo or rifle ammo. If you decide to go with shells, best recommended to use incendiary shells or handmade shells. You can use an Eoka, water pipe, double barrel or pump action shotgun to shoot with. If you go with incendiary shells, you will need 8 pieces. One craft gives you 2 pieces, it costs 5 metal fragments, 10 gunpowder and 20 sulfur. The total costs for 4 craft are 20 metal fragments, 160 sulfur and 120 charcoal. If you go with handmade shells, you will need 23 shells. One craft gives you 2 pieces. It costs you 5 stone and 5 gunpowder. The total costs for 12 craft are 60 stone and 60 gunpowder, which equals 120 sulfur and 180 charcoal. Unlike in the case of the wooden doors, for the TC you can use a spas, but it will cost you a bit more. You will need 11 pieces of incendiary shells or 30 pieces of handmade shells. The 12 gauche buckshots are a bit more expensive but you can use them if you have the BP or the amount required for it. The 12 gauche slugs are still not recommended for this job either. And as always you can put a silencer on the pump action shotgun. 
If you decide to use a pistol ammo using type gun, the first thing that you need to know that the pistol bullet is the cheapest to craft of all and the required number of bullets for each type of gun is different. It varies from 73 to 134 bullets. The HV and incendiary pistol bullets are not recommended due to cost. The cheapest is the Python with 73 shots. One craft of pistol bullet will give you 4 pieces. So in order to get the 73 bullets you will need to craft it 19 times. One craft costs 10 metal fragments and 5 GP to craft. The total costs are 190 metal fragments and 95 gunpowder which equals 190 sulfur and 285 charcoal. Altogether, I don't recommend using pistol type guns for destroying items, but it can be the only option sometimes. Now let's take a look at the rifle ammo type guns. As with the pistol bullets, the number of ammo needed are different with the rifles as well. It is best recommended to use explosive 5.56 ammo or you could always use normal 5.56 ammo as well, but uh, don't use the HV or incendiary versions. If you go with a normal 5.56 rifle ammo, it varies from 50 to 100 pieces. The cheapest is 50 bullets with the L96 and bolt action rifles. It is 62 bullets with the M249, 80 bullets with AK and M39 rifle and 100 bullets with LR and SAR. Let's take a closer look on the AK since it is the least amount with the second most common of these guns. One craft of 5.56 ammo costs 10 metal fragments and 5 gunpowder and will give you 3 pieces. For 80 pieces you will need to craft it 27 times. So the total costs are 270 metal fragments and 135 gunpowder which equals 270 sulfur and 405 charcoal. The fastest way is to use explosive 5.56 ammo though and you will need only 9 or 10 pieces for one TC depending on the gun. One craft costs 10 metal fragments, 20 gunpowder and 10 sulfur and gives you 2 pieces. The 5 craft in total for the 9 or 10 pieces will cost you 50 metal fragments, 250 sulfur and 300 charcoal in total. If you want to be more silent you can always put a silencer on the guns. Now let's take a look at the explosives. It is best recommended to use a satchel charge, but alternatively you could use three bean can grenades as well. It is just one bean can grenade cheaper, but probably not worth the time wasting. One satchel charge costs four bean can grenades, one small stash and one rope. In total you will need one rope, 40 cloth, 80 metal fragments, 240 gunpowder, which equals 480 sulfur and 720 charcoal. It is not recommended to use high tier explosives because they are way more expensive. If you are rich and already rocket grading, an incendiary rocket would be the best option because it is just a little bit more expensive. One piece destroys a TC and everyone else who stands next to it. There is one more explosive way to raid a TC which is using a grenade launcher. The item and the grenades for it are uncraftable and you cannot buy them either, only loot them from heavy scientists. You will need only one AG grenade to destroy a tool cupboard. To sum up, here's a table of all the shown methods and total costs calculated. The cheapest ways to raid the TC are the salvage sword, the fire arrows and the handmade shells. The fastest way is to use explosive 556 ammo. The cheapest explosive is still a huge overkill sulfur wise compared to the other methods. Now you know how to raid the most simple type of base through the doors, so in the next episode we will talk about the garage door. Stay tuned. I hope this video will be useful for new and experienced players as well, that it will serve as a guideline when calculating the raid materials. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.